Yo, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys all have a good day today. In this video, I'm going to be ranking every team for the 2022-2023 season. Whether they're going to be good or whether they're going to be bad, we will see. But yeah, man, let's just get right into it. Starting off with the Philadelphia 76ers. I, um, I have very high hopes for Philadelphia. I feel like James Harden is back on his shit. I feel like this team is going to be good this year, man. I don't see how they can mess this up. I honestly, okay, this might be a bold prediction. I see them making the conference finals. Okay, I see them making the conference finals, but I am too scared to put them all up in S tier. So I'm gonna give them a solid A, okay? I just, I feel like they have a very solid team. They have a good chance. Not quite S tier though. All right, next up we got the Washington Wizards. I don't think the Wizards are quite tanking. Didn't they just resign Beal to like a max contract or something? But yeah, I feel like Kyle Kuzma has been playing pretty good for them. You know, I, I think that they'll be a good team not quite tanking level uh but but i don't think they'll be anywhere really good i'll put them d okay i don't i don't really have any high hopes for this team all right next up we got the atlanta hawks okay and when i tell you that i think the hawks are gonna be a good team this year i mean good team not quite philadelphia 76ers good okay but they're gonna be good i'm putting them b you got Trey Young. DeJounte Murray's been killing it. They had a great run, what, like two years ago against the, the whole, like, Knicks year? I'm pretty sure that was two years ago. Flopped this last year, but, man, this year, I think they're going to come back strong. And they really had no choice because they traded away pretty much all their whole franchise picks. Um, so, yeah. The Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm not too big on Cleveland. I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's because I didn't really watch much of them last year. Uh, I know Evan Mobley's a beast. Uh, I know that Darius Garland is really good. I don't think they're going to be crazy good um i don't really want to put him c though because i feel like they'll do a little bit better than that i'm gonna put him with with the atlanta hawks but i'm not as high on the Cavs as i am on the hawks okay let's uh, you know keep that in mind all right next up we got the detroit pistons um the pistons they have what Cade and Jaden ivy i mean the pistons i i don't see them doing anything crazy this year um i could be wrong Cade cunningham is looking good but is he all of that is he like the guy that could push his whole team into the playoffs or into the, even the plans. We'll see, I guess. I don't know. I'm not too high on Marvin Bagley either. I'm not going to put him D tier with the Wizards. I think they'll be better than that. I'm putting him C, okay? A solid C. Indiana Pacers. I'm just going to go ahead and just put him down there for now. Um, The only real piece they have is Tyrese Halliburton, if we're being completely honest here. You have, you have that one piece, right? And for this next season... You can play around him, you know, you know, see how he is, stuff like that. But I, I really don't see the Pacers making any sort of push or any type of, um, any type of grind to make the playoffs or the play-in. Okay, I'm putting him in tanking. They're tanking. Come on now. Okay, next up, we got the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, if you watched my last video, I say that Giannis Antetokounmpo will be the MVP. I have an S. I think that they're a solid championship contender. Okay, I don't see you know doing doing much. Like, I have them as a solid championship contender. It's really where I have them right now. Um, I think that they're gonna come back and, and really kill it this year, and I'm very excited to see that. The Toronto Raptors. They have a very solid team, but I I, I want to put them in C. But I feel like they're way better than the Pistons, and I feel like that they shouldn't be anywhere near C. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put him B. I, I really don't know how well I I want to just put him right in between to be honest with you. But I feel like the Pistons are are just in a completely different position than the Raptors. Um, so I'm gonna put him B. I think they have, they have some solid pieces for sure. You know, they have the Rookie of the Year. You know, they can still have Siakam and stuff. I'll put I'll put him B. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll put him B, man. I can't disrespect him like that. The Mavericks. Do we really believe the Mavericks are going to make the conference finals? Do we Do we all, Do we we all? believe that? Do we Do we believe that stuff? Because to be honest, they only got Luka. Can they build something, please? If, if they can try to build something around them. But all they really have is Luka. And I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not that high on the um, Luka Doncic train. I'm putting him high B. I don't see them being A tier. I don't see them being A tier. That might be a hot take. That might be a really hot take. I don't know. You can only go so far. Denver Nuggets. Uh, this is very easy for me. I mean, you have, you have uh, Jamal coming back, right? Jamal Murray. Um, he's coming back. But how good is he really going to be? How? It, it, there's, he's not going to be like the bubble, you know, Jamal that we saw. He, there, there's no way. We saw players do crazy things in the bubble. They come back after the bubble. They're not doing it. Okay. It won't be the same guy. I think that a lot of people are, you know, a little, little too hyped that they're going to see that again. Uh, I'm going to put him A, though. Solid team. You got Jokic. You, you have a solid team around him. Um, and with Jamal, it's kind of like a wild card. Not quite S tier. 
Um, but A tier. I see them. I see them competing very, very easily. Memphis Grizzlies. I feel like it's kind of mandatory to put them in A tier. I, I don't think that they're anywhere near the B tier. But I also don't see them in anywhere near a championship. I'm a, I'm be honest. I see them making a conference finals and they're done. That's what I see. I don't see them winning a championship. I don't think they're there yet. I think maybe eventually they'll get there, but not yet. I don't see it happening yet for sure. So I'm, I'm putting a solid A team. Timberwolves, Minnesota. They got Rudy Gobert. But how much is that going to help? I have him A or B, sorry. Sorry, B. I don't think that they're going to be too crazy. Can Anthony Edwards help them so much? I mean, there's a lot going on with the team. I have a high B. High B. High B. I have a high B. Uh, not quite A yet, but not, you know, not too bad. Spurs, just throw them in the tanking category already, man. Just put them in the tanking category, man. They're grinding for Victor Wembanyama, man. They want nothing else. I, if, if the Spurs don't get Victor this upcoming draft, I don't know what they're going to do with their franchise. I, I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Pop's going to quit. I don't know, man. The Utah Jazz. It seems like they're kind of blowing their team up. We don't even know. Donovan Mitchell might get traded. As of right now, uh, Donovan Mitchell is still on the Jazz. I don't know if maybe later this will change and he'll be off. Uh, oh my, I got a, I just got an ESPN alert. I thought maybe he just got traded. That would have been wild. I'm putting C. Your one-two punch is gone. Uh, you still have Donovan. To me, it's kind of like, you know, that one guy that can help the team, but not, not that much. I don't see them doing anything really insane this year. All right, next up is the LA Clippers. A lot of people have very high hopes for this team, and I don't blame you for having really high hopes. I think they're going to be a really good team as well, but I don't think they're going to be an A-tier type of team. It's too many question marks for me. Will Kawhi be good when he comes back? We don't know. It's too many question marks for me to put them A. Um, so I'm just going to put them like mid, mid B. S solid team, but I don't see them making a crazy jump, in my opinion. I just don't see it. Phoenix Suns? You know, you know uh, the Suns get a lot of hate. I've realized this. I'm going to put him A. I think that they kind of lost that like championship like run type of vibe. I think that they're still up there. I think that they're better than the majority of these teams. I'm putting him A. Okay. I know that them being above the Mavericks is going to make some people mad. Portland? Putting Portland C. I mean, they have what? Damian Lillard? I don't know. I, I don't think that they'll do anything crazy. Um, I'm not going to be biased, but the Sacramento Kings, hear me out. Okay. I'm kidding. In all seriousness, I'm putting the Kings in B. Maybe it's a little bit biased. Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. De'Aaron Fox averaging almost 30 points a game when Tyrese left. We have a two-time All-Star Sabonis. Keegan's good. Davion Mitchell, breakout year. I'm calling right now, breakout year Davion Mitchell. Don't let the past 16 years change what you think. I know it's gonna be hard. Don't let it change your mind on the Kings, okay? They're B tier. They're B tier. I don't care what you say. All right, the New York Knicks. Um, uh, the New York Knicks. Um, I, I, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even know who like their best player is anymore. I don't know. I, unless they get Donovan Mitchell or something, which I know that they're really trying to get him. I don't, I don't see them doing anything, but I don't think they're quite at the tanking level like the Pacers and Spurs. Honestly, I should just put them in tanking. I really don't even know. Uh, New Orleans, very underrated team. I, uh, that might be weird to say because Brandon Ingram just had a really good year. I, dude, I am actually kind of wanting to put them in A because Zion is going to be so good when he comes back. If you watched my last video, I have him as the most improved player of the year award. Okay, go watch the last video, by the way. They're going to be good, but same with the Clippers. It's too many question marks for me. Zion, just like Kawhi, is a big question mark and not enough for me to put them in A, but they're going to be solid. Do not get me wrong. They're going to be solid. The Hornets, I'm just, I I don't even, I don't even want to talk about the Hornets, man. There's no point. What is LaMelo Ball. There you go. Houston Rockets. Um, you know, sometimes I forget that Jabari Smith Jr. even got drafted. Um, I haven't seen anything about him. I haven't seen workout videos. I haven't seen Pro-Am videos. I haven't seen Summer League Dude has been invisible. I barely even, oh, Jalen Green, I guess, is on that team. I, I'm putting him in C. I, they're not They're not doing anything crazy, in my opinion, but they're not quite so bad to be tanking or in D tier. Miami Heat, I'm putting Miami Heat S tier. Um, I, I genuinely think that they have been pushing so hard. They've been pushing so hard for the past couple years, right? I think it's bound to happen. I feel the same way with the 76ers, but I think the Heat are just a better team. It's bound to happen one of these times, right? It has to happen. They have to win a ring at least once. Chicago Bulls. They were so good 
for like part of last year didn't um lonzo ball go down or something i don't know about the bulls i want to put him a because i i do really like the bulls i'm a big bulls guy but i don't think that they're that good i see some teams down here that i feel like are better than the bulls and I, I i can't put them that high up i just can't but i hope they're solid i love watching demar Derozan and zach levine uh and and lonzo ball but i didn't get to watch him much just because he was injured i hope they do really good though this year the brooklyn nets i am going to make a prediction that that by the time the 2022 2023 season starts kd will be out of brooklyn Kyrie might still be around or vice versa one of the two i'm putting him in d i feel like if one of them's gone they're not going to be good okay uh if they're both still there maybe c i don't have them doing anything crazy this upcoming year though man i i am so done with brooklyn i think that the um next up oklahoma city thunder i kind of have them on the same page as the rockets with me where it's like they have some really oh man you know what man i'm putting him uh do i put it b or high c i'm going high c okay um i know i said in my last video the award prediction video that i think chet's gonna win rookie of the year after seeing that man get his ankle destroyed by lebron driving through the paint i i i, I might want to change that decision predicting that chet gets injured not that i wish any injury upon anyone never would okay but predicting that maybe something happens and he's out for a bit i have okc at uh c golden state warriors man i'm putting him right back up at s in my opinion this might be a a kind of a little bit of a hot take if i were steve kerr i would bench clay thompson and play jordan Poole at my shooting guard okay i know that might be that might be might be a weird take okay maybe if you're a warriors fan you completely disagree with me on that one but in my opinion one's better than the other okay i know one just came back of an injury it was only the first year okay but you never know man i mean try it out i think that they're definitely a threat though and they're still very good man they're very good they're very good just because they don't have KD doesn't mean that they can't win they proved that last year Boston Celtics I mean S tier again I, I feel like I'm just putting the last couple year contenders up up in S but I feel like they're that good Boston for sure has a chance to, to win it man I mean they did so good if Jason Tatum can just step it up and not choke in the finals they will have a solid chance at winning a championship okay i'm telling you right now and they have years to win a championship if they don't all just disband and leave each other most of the team is so young i feel like they have a really good shot and a couple couple solid good years at, at a chance of winning a championship the lakers dude i'm putting them in d i'm not even kidding man i'm not even kidding don't even try me with that shit lebron i understand the dude is like 42 now okay or like 52 or some shit he's gonna be good i'm not denying it okay lebron is going to have a good season he's, he's gonna have a good year i'm not denying that anthony davis isn't reliable okay I feel like they're gonna have the same type of year. Russell Westbrook, on the other hand, listen, he's gonna show out. I'm telling you right now, he's gonna show out. All right, I'll put him in C, man. I'll put him in C, dude. Come on. Russell Westbrook is my only hope in the Lakers. Orlando Magic, man, Paolo Bancaro. I mean, uh, I mean, who else do they even have? Jalen Suggs? I'm putting him in D. I, I really don't see them doing anything crazy this year either. All right, and this is the list right here. This is the final list. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I know this video was a little bit longer compared to my other one. Um, but if you guys all enjoyed, man, if you did, like, subscribe. It means a lot. It helps out a lot more than you think. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.